This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by The Ben Heck Show. Facebook Home arrived last week. <laughs> nice, nice segue. <laughs> Thank you. If you're not familiar with the concept, it's essentially Facebook takes over the home screen of your Android phone. Look. You can even see it here on the Facebook home webpage, facebook.com slash home. Oh, Quote the mobile fun. experience that puts your friends at the heart of your phone. From the moment you turn it on, you see a steady stream of friends, posts, and photos on your home screen. Upfront notifications and quick access to your essentials means you'll never miss a moment. So <laughs> if you look at the internet, the internet thinks it sucks. The, yeah, people, the early people adopters, aren't stoked. Yeah, the early adopters are less than thrilled. RAP Michael Hand says, it's really not that bad. The phone is still functional, and I do enjoy the full screen statuses. Um, that is, though, in no small part because he found a few tweaks that made it, in Michael's words, much less frustrating. So, making Facebook home suck less. First, uncheck See Home when screen turns on. If you have a password on your phone, doing anything beyond looking through your feed becomes infuriating if you don't have this checked. You can't view your notifications, make calls, or do anything until you trigger another application, which will then bring up the normal unlock screen and enable you to use your phone normally. I think they didn't really think this one through unless mm -hmm. they really just wanted to force you into Facebook, which is a very Facebook thing to do. Second, Check show notification bar. Otherwise, it takes two swipes to get to your notifications. Oh, okay. But I thought they said everything was instantly accessible. Um, Facebook Home, by the way, makes one of Facebook's most annoying problems even more irritating. Because instead of like Facebook getting filled up with a person like, OK, so I left for lunch. OK, this one had for lunch. So OK, after lunch, I saw a dog. Here's a picture of the dog. So after the dog, you know that person on your Facebook screen? It's not hard to avoid them on the website, but Mike notes, not when I had to swipe every time for a new item. And the quality of their photos doesn't look great when scaled up 200%, mm -hmm. so they can do the slow sweeping movement. Did, did we mention, we make this clear, it takes over your home screen, Facebook Home does. Yeah, you can, you can go back. I yeah. mean, it does, but that, that was one thing. I was at the event uh, mm -hmm. the day they kicked it off down at the Facebook HQ, um, which, by the way, that was my first time down there, and I just want to live there. Like, I understand that's the whole point. This is a totally different conversation. Right. But it's gorgeous, and there's so much free food. But anyway. Which you may be getting taxed on if the IRS has anything to do with it. The free food? The, Just yeah. as a visitor? No, 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 <gasps> Employees. Stop taking money from me! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. Okay. You like interstates? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then it's good. So, as an actual application launcher, Facebook Home is okay. You tap once on the screen. Oh, I didn't get a chance to say the thing I was going to say about it. Oh, go ahead. I started talking about food. <laughs> um, it was and yeah, living at Facebook. The one, the one thing that was that was kind of annoying when we're getting a hands-on is that you don't get to decide what shows up as, right. it, as it switches in the background. So, if there's some person that you're not that into, there there was no immediate way that I saw to be like, I don't really want to see Everything. stuff from this person. Right. And it's it's kind of complicated. Yeah. Uh, you know, look, as an actual application launcher, Mike says it's okay. You tap once on the screen and a circle with your icon shows up. You swipe left, you get Facebook Messenger, right launches your last open app, and up will bring in the app drawer and the quick post tools. You lose your widgets, you're limited to 16 of your most used apps, unless you feel like scrolling through an alphabetical list of all your applications, which in the case of some of our Android users here, like I have like 200 applications loaded on my iPhone. Scrolling through all those to get to something would make me want to stab myself in the face. <laughs> so at this point, are you still wondering if you should try it out? Michael says, quote, overall, I felt like the launcher was just crippling what Android can do. But I ended up looking through my Facebook feed like 10 times more often than I usually do, which I'm guessing is what Zuckerberg was going for. And no, Michael said, so I'm not going to keep it as my launcher, but I wouldn't be opposed to a full screen Facebook suite that works exactly the same way. Hear that, Zuck? All just right. do a thing with the thing, just not taking over the phone. Make was, Facebook more usable on a phone without taking over the phone. I was kind of surprised they're not going to upgrade the, the existing Facebook app for iOS to just have it mimic that same experience as fake, Facebook Home and have it work in a similar way. They said they, they wouldn't tell me if that was something they've got planned for the future, um, but I think that would be a logical step. Since it's not a built-in, baked-in <laughs> OS, right. since it is separate from the actual phone operating system, it makes sense that they could just kind of upgrade the existing apps for other platforms It'll and make nice. it mimic that experience a little bit more. Consistency? The chat heads, the chat Heads are kind of fun. You know, flick them all around. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community inspired creations. Be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show each week right here at revision3.com slash TBHS. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben works on a new mail detection device. Check out element14.com slash TBHS for a chance to win the latest builds from Ben's show.